Hey, what's going on guys? Kodemakikins here. In this video we're gonna be implementing two functions to read and write uh, data from our transposition table. So, uh, I'm gonna be referencing this pages by Bruce Morlin actually defining the implementation for these two functions. Uh, I would adjust them to uh, for my needs basically and then we'll try to actually make some tests on how to write and how to read stuff into the transposition table so that's kind of it but before we start i would like to emphasize the mm, the part that seems to be most interesting to me in particular so uh how the hash table is getting indexed so this modulo sign here does the entire trick so we're taking the hash key or our Zabris key or our unique position identifier and uh, then this modulo uh, operation and then the size of our the length of the array uh, of our transposition table sorry my English is a bit short to describe this uh, operation better so I would rather go and demonstrate this rather than talking about it so uh, let me just uh, open the terminal in the current working directory and by typing make debug and bbc uh, try to demonstrate you how this is going to be working so here uh, we have a particular hash key so let's say we want to store this position into a transposition table or a hash table so the very first thing to consider or if we want to read uh, uh, the value or the score for this position from the transposition table so if we want to find uh, this position in the transposition table now what we need to do we need to take this number and let me just open my calculator so we just taking this number copy and uh, oh my god paste and then I'm using this modular and now we need to hash size variable I want to reference the hash size variable and this one so uh, please note that I'm using the hexadecimal mode in my calculator here so paste and now the index would it be oh sorry uh, hexadecimal it's not the C uh, programming language definition but the calculator definition so and this would be the index in hexadecimal like the index that we need to take care of and in case of decimal this would be it so two millions and something assuming that this value in decimal would be four millions and some some minor uh, values as well so just to give you an idea like where this kind of index is coming from so how it's get calculated I uh, can't say anything much about this because my, under my understanding of, of modular operation is very redundant so uh, I think you uh, you know better what it means than I do but anyway uh, now uh, let's go so here uh, down below uh, within the Bruce Marlins page on transposition table we have this to function to well first it's called probe hash which means uh, literally read uh, the hash entry and this uh, is actually like write uh, like record hash or actually write the hash entry so we'll start with implementing this one in particular and um, uh, I just want to command this out uh, because I would have I would have been writing this on my own, uh, just referencing the order to not to miss anything basically. So that's kind of it. Okay, so this is kind of it. So we don't need to remember a best move. Okay, and okay, and another constant, this value unknown. So every time that, uh, and every time when we fail to find uh, an entry, every time we fail to find a hash entry within our hash table or transposition table, we would be returning this value unknown. Uh, and let's actually define another constant here. So uh, no hash entry found constant constant and I call this define let's define this like no 
no hash entry and it would be equal so uh, as far uh, as this value actually returns the score uh, to avoid any confusions uh, regarding the alpha beta window and assuming that we're using the pale heart framework uh, within our alpha beta uh, I would like to make this value unknown to be outside of the alpha beta window bound so we have our alpha beta from minus 50 thousands to plus 50 thousands and 50 thousands represents the infinity in this case so I would like to make it a uh, hundred and thousands so to make sure it goes outside uh, to make sure it goes outside uh, the alpha beta uh, window bounds completely so just just like that okay so what else what else uh, yeah now let's actually go and implement our uh, uh, function to read uh, the entry from the hash table so read uh, hash entry hash entry data and uh, I just want to create so this would be the static inline integer read hash entry and uh, I like the different order I'm used to make it like int alpha then in beta and then depth just like within the search so in depth so this alpha beta and depth actually serving as um, they actually serve as uh, the arguments to to reference this uh, this entry well uh, I hope this this would get a bit more clear just right in the moment so let's let's continue so here uh, so this hash e it seems like the instance of the hash table that he creates yeah so what he does here he creates so we want to create uh, a transposition table instance pointer uh, yeah, or pointer to the transposition table instance well, but better to call it like this I guess and this would be TT and I like call it this is the pointer so P hash entry well let's call this just hash entry just to make it clear uh, hash entry okay and this would be equal so now no this little sign uh, this, so this and means that we're referencing the address of our particular transposition table assuming that this table is actually a global variable and as far as I have this named hash table just like in here I can reuse this part so pointer to the so this pointer points to the element of the hash table indexed by the next stuff so here we're using the hash key which is the current board positions key that like this one and well whatever position we have it has uh, a corresponding hash key so we're using this hash key to uh, index the hash table and this modulo modulo operation with the table size and in our case the table size it's the constant of the hash size so this is how it's done so modulo by hash size like this so here uh, we did already obtain an index mm, uh, so create transposition table instance pointer to point to the hash entry responsible for responsible for storing uh, particular particular hash entry having uh, the data having the data well not having let's better say storing the data uh, the scoring data for 
the current board position if available so this is it if available and well I would probably go for this like commentaries here so create transposition table instance pointer to point to the hash entry responsible for storing particular uh, oh my god uh, to point to the hash entry uh, it's a bit duplication pointer to point okay uh, create transposition table instance pointer to point to the hash entry responsible for storing particular uh, oh, just storing twice yeah responsible for particular okay uh, to point to the hash entry responsible for particular <laughs> okay guys sorry I just paused the video and tried to formulate this in my ma in, in my mind sorry okay it's better to say uh, just like uh, create transposition table instance pointer to particular hash entry storing uh, the scoring data, storing the scoring data, it's almost like a wrap. Storing the scoring for the current board position if available. So again, like to put uh, a pointer to particular hash entry, yeah, pointer to the particular hash entry, storing the scoring data for the current board position if available. Yeah, just perfect. So this is what we got here. Okay, and well, assuming this, we can probably drop back to this like commentaries even yeah I think now no, assuming two lines this is just pretty pretty nice okay and now so uh, just well so this line is kind of uh, is, is another s s safety uh, uh, because the hash entry obtained like in this way I'm not sure why exactly, but it may not always be the exact position. So in order to make sure that we have the exact position, we need to mm, reference the particular hash key of this hash entry with the current uh, hash key. And why this is so, this is explained on this page, so feel free to read this. Uh, and I just focus on the implementation. So we need to make sure uh, uh, we're dealing with the exact uh, with the exact position with the exact position we need or we currently have on the board so this one so if hash entry and this is called the hash key is equal to the global hash key which stores the current hash position so the, the current position identifier or the hash key value so in this case in this case so the next thing to consider we need to make sure that we match the exact depth uh, our search is now at okay so here if hash entry and the depth is greater or equals than the depth well I'm not sure why it is actually great might, might be also greater uh, and not just equals well this needs couple of years of research for me okay so in this case we have uh, the following stuff so the condition of matching the flag and also yeah some extra conditions well let me, let me just yeah let me just just grab this basically and 
embed into my code. So, um, so the very first, uh, so here uh, is the port where we are actually matching some already pre-stored scores regarding the current position in our transposition or hash table. So there might be three cases, exactly the number of cases of uh, like uh, the number of which is equal to the number of node types that we have within our alpha beta search so this might be either the alpha score or the beta score or the exact score uh, or like principal variation uh, uh, principal variation node score it's not always the one that is that might be within uh, your your principal variation table uh, it might be it's stored every time when score is greater than alpha so this this is written kind of there okay so here we match the exact and uh, I just uh, just uh, this say this principal variation uh, principal variation node score yeah and now i'm really thinking about <laughs> changing all this node and move in parentheses i did in the previous parts to to actually change that position but okay forget that so match the exact uh, the exact scores in case of the principal variation node and oh my god this this thought <laughs> doesn't leave me okay maybe one day so in this case uh we want to return uh exact uh, score exact bv node score and this i call the score and this is the hash entry and also this is the hash entry again and now again like uh, some uh, walk through the c programming specific so here we have the dots because we're working with the real uh, with the global uh, variable with the real rates not the pointer it's the real hash table and here we're working uh, with a pointer to the hash table and that's the reason for using this uh, arrow uh, arrow mark sign definition whatever to reference the inner fields because we, we're dealing with a pointers here not with uh, the actual data just uh, so this po this is the pointer okay that's why we're referencing this pointer like this so it's not an actual hash table it's just the pointer to that so it's uh, this variable stores the location of the memory uh, of the memory cell containing the information that we need in our hash table oh my god i said that can't believe it okay so in this case we're doing the exact score and now the other two cases, and again, yeah, I, I need to. Uh, so here we hash flag, we have hash flag exact, and here we match uh, alpha uh, match alpha score. So uh, this is the fail fail low node. Okay, and. Uh, this would be the hash entry. Yeah, by the way, it's, I call this flag, not the flags, flag, hash, flag, alpha. Okay, and here, hash entry and the score. And in this case, we return. Uh, alpha uh, so this is the fail low score fail low node okay so in the case of the exact match we only need to match the flag and that's it but in case of if this hash entry if the flag is equal to hash flag alpha we also need to make sure that this node actually fails low so this that the score is actually less equals the al than alpha well most likely this would always be true well at least to my understanding so this this seems like the over safety measure at some point but um, 
well, may, maybe I'm horribly wrong, I don't know, but the idea behind this line, so before returning the alpha, we, we can return alpha only if we, we make sure that this is the fail no mode, which means like score is less equals than alpha, so this is quite pretty important. And the same test is done for beta, but in this case we need to make sure this is the fail high note, so score is a greater equals than beta. Okay, so now we want to match beta, and this is the fail high note, and fail high note score. So hash flag beta, and flag not flags, hash entry, hash entry score, and if I want to return beta, this is the fail, fail high note. When I said I want to, I remember it, the song by, uh, oh my god, <laughs> I forgot this, his name, <laughs> by Freddie Mercury. I want to break free, I want to break free, and so on. So. I want to return beta fail high note. Okay, sorry my, for my singing skills. So return beta fail high note score and beta here. Perfect. Okay, so uh, let's try to compile run to make sure it's error free. Oh my god, it's error free. Can't believe it. Cool. Okay, and as far as we don't really have anything being stored within our hash table, transposition table. We can't now test this because, uh, well, we actually uh, didn't write anything there. So the next thing to consider would be to write uh, some code uh, responsible for actually writing uh, the data into the hash table. And this is this is shorter and not only shorter but also more mm, kind of simple. I don't know. So let's go the following. Let's follow the same approach here. And so what I want to do, well, I can actually, yeah, I can actually make use of this code as well. So this would be, uh, so here we said like read hash entry data and here we want to write hash entry data. So let's call this right hash entry and again i don't really want to have the depth first so let's that would be the score okay then we'll have the depth okay and finally the hash flag okay so now we need to do the same uh, creating the same, creating the instance and all this. So this line is literally the same. So I can grab it from here. So again, we're uh, now we're now, so in this case we were we were uh, calculating this index uh, to reference data from, and here we're calculating this index to write data to. So that's the idea. Okay, and here, well, basically, we just want to write hash entry data. I hope this is quite pretty self-explanatory. We're just literally writing all the elements we have. So I just copy my hash entry to replace this. And just change the variable name. So this would be the hash key equals to our current global hash key variable key like this drop the best move okay uh, so score would be equal to score that we uh, assign in here uh, 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 we're passing the score as the first argument and uh, writing this score to uh, our entry score inner build score uh, hash hash flag Okay, sorry guys, just my cats are walking uh, on the window, and that's, I don't know how to call that, just, 
uh, I just hear some sounds. Okay, so hearing some sounds. Okay, so um, what the hash flag is this? This is a bit weird. Hold on a sec. You just call this flags, not the hash flag. So did he actually change this? Yeah, probably he just changed that and didn't notice. Well, this is a well-known scenario. I, I don't really remember how I did. So, so I, I call this hash flag, right? Just flag. Okay. I could have called this a hash flag, but well, let's call this just a flag. So not a, a way to uh, change in the code. So storing this hash flag. This should be working correctly. Yeah, probably I just need to let my code in, uh, my cat in. I think I just, sorry, hold on a sec. I do this because she's she's crying there. Okay, sorry guys, I'm back. So let's try to compile and run the code to make sure it still kind of works. And hold on a sec, I'm a little bit confused by this, by this name in Bruce Mullins code. So, hash flag. Yeah, definitely it's the hash flag. Definitely it is. But for some reason, I have no idea why it actually. Why why call it like flags here? So this is a bit strange. I, I didn't I didn't even notice this when I was originally implementing this transposition table so well but from the logic perspective this seems to be like storing this flags exactly because here within the beta cutoff we're having this hash uh, flag beta and so on so yeah this seems to be just kind of okay so the code does it still compile and run okay hopefully okay guys so now we'll go and test our uh, read and write hash functions so I just want to copy, uh, so this is static inline int, and this is the static inline void. Uh, okay, void is there. Write hash entry. So read hash entry. I just uh, want to copy them to not, not forget the order, to not to forget the order of the arguments. So copy this one as well and cut save and here so we did clear our hash table so now we can write and read this stuff okay so the next thing to consider so when uh, so well actually first we want to uh, let's say write example uh, and uh, entry to hash table so here we want to clear hash table okay uh, well let's drop the search for now okay write the hash table and here we want to read uh, well actually this would be the score read score from hash table okay and let's assign this to the variable so let's say in score would be equal to this stuff and let's now print hash hashed score so print f and uh, hashed score well not not hashed let's say score from hash entry print score from hash entry this would be the decimal value and followed by the new line okay okay so um, okay so now we need to write so let's uh, let's take let's say the value of 25 uh, and this would be a hash flag 
exact. Uh, well, actually, uh, if we don't specify any, uh, well, you know, like let's probably add some uh, some extra. Some extra debugging stuff here. So I just want to print f here. So this is the exact score and and the new line. Yes. So exact score. Well, actually, yeah, I can even do it like this. So this would be the decimal. Oh no, no, just just like this is fine okay so print exact score here we'll have our alpha score and here we'll have our beta score just wondering so flag alpha flag beta less equals alpha greater equals beta well I hope I hope this is correct okay so this would be the alpha score and this would be the beta score okay so and here we can just print this bare score and the new line score so uh well let's pick up some i don't know whatever depth zero doesn't matter what depth well let's make depth one doesn't matter really and flag exact so uh and here you just hold on a second thinking like so if we're passing the alpha Hold on a sec, but how do we... Oh, right, that's that's right. So here is the score, right? Here is the score. And... Yeah, so... Uh... Alpha and beta. Well, let's take alpha equals to let's say 19 and beta just more than 25. Let's make it 30. And the depth should be the same, like depth one. And this now should print uh, the score equals to 25, and that this is the exact score. Uh, okay. Come on, score and declare. You kidding me? Did I miss something? Oh, just another. Okay. Yeah, exact score and this value of 25. And now if I do have... Uh, so I'm just wondering, so... I'm not sure if I want to yeah so let's say yeah so if I just specify the alpha version so hash flag alpha then it should bring the 19 but alpha score 19 but if I change this one say the 20 it shouldn't print anything because it would be, or hold on a sec, why does it print 20? This is a bit strange. Okay, guys, sorry, just my, my cat wants to eat, I need to feed him. Oh, you see, like, she's opening the door. Okay, so, just hold on a sec, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, guys, so I decided to reference, in, to reference the code of Weister's engine to make sure that everything is correct. And actually, well, Blue Fever assigns the 
uh, the value of alpha and beta to score in this case if score is less equals than alpha and greater equals than, than beta so exactly what we've been doing here and I've just realized the reason why actually it returned this 20 so 20 is the value of alpha and it did return this value because the exact score so here score was actually less equals than alpha and it was 19 and that's the reason why we just return this the value of of alpha so which means that it would be if this would be actually more than alpha so let's make it 21 it won't be it won't return alpha it should probably return this unknown value I'm not sure uh yeah just i'm not sure what this one main actually print score it probably returns hold on a sec Oh, it, I just forgot to return the value of unknown. Uh, hold on a sec, so this is important. This is important because... Oh my god, did I forget that in my initial engine implementation? What's the reason for this horrible box? Hold on. So, yeah, let's go to read hash entry. Oh my god. I'm just wondering, just hold on guys, I, I'm really, I'm so tempted to know. Is that the case? Did I actually forget to do it here? Mm, store hash entry no I did it here I did it here okay so it's not the point okay so mm, let's add it here as well like where exactly this should be done so mm, after all this stuff okay return value unknown so i call it probably like no hash no hash entry copy so read hash entry uh if didn't match uh a hash entry or let's say if hash entry doesn't uh exist in this case we want to return this constant of no hash entry and it should give us this uh, hundred of thousands value at the moment okay perfect so this means that we didn't actually match that so uh, the value is greater than alpha so it's not the, it's not the point really uh, here the value is greater than alpha then we don't return alpha but uh, in case if we want to uh, use if this is the beta uh, beta flag so hash flag beta and again like if uh, this value is less than beta or even if it's equal to beta it, it will still return this hundred of thousands and even if this would be 30 like this this it still would return the hundred of thousands what oh it's greater equals than beta but i'm just wondering the reason for that equals uh, probably because there's the cutoff value already but if this is 29 it shouldn't return and if this is 30 or more then yeah if this is 30 or more it would be returning beta so let's say this would be 45 in this case it should return to 45 okay hold on a sec he returns the score hold on a sec Hold on a sec, I didn't get it really. So let's check this again. So beta score, is this the beta score? Yeah, beta score, perfect. So if score is greater equals than beta, oh man, what have I done? Yeah, it returns, what have I done? Uh, it's not like that. if score is greater or equals than beta then we want to return beta yeah this is what what is here so the beta is 30 yeah that's the reason he returns 30 if the score is equal to 30 or greater than uh 30 which is beta in this case he returns beta okay yeah this is a bit strange to me like isn't the score actually a better 
so it's a little bit hard to say but it seems like it doesn't confuse me in the case of alpha but in the case of beta for some reason I can't understand this uh, hundred percent so whatever score is greater or equals than beta this means that we have a bit of cutoff okay we just return beta straight ahead well okay so this needs a bit more research so just want to make sure that I did like this is done within Bruce's code so val or score greater or equals than beta so I have the same comparing to the beta flag seems to be just kind of fine well okay guys so yeah uh, I just need to research this a bit deeper and regarding the M implementation this seems to be like kind of it I'm just wondering so this void function assuming this it is void it doesn't have to have to return anything right okay and so one last glance so if value is greater or equals than beta then we return beta yeah i need to figure out why but this seems to be working nicely okay guys so in this case i would uh, i would actually finish this video this particular state and in the next video uh we're gonna uh we're gonna embed uh our transposition table referencing and respectively not all, not all the referencing but writing the data to transposition as well the transposition table as well into our alpha beta search so that's what we're supposed to be doing there and yeah so hope to see you in the next video and follow that tutorial as well to see like how engine should get should start playing uh, a little faster compared to how it is now basically okay yeah so see you next time until then and take care